You're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the Mirage 2000, showing you how to land using ILS, approach hold autopilot and the synthetic runway. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. So let's have a quick look at our flight plan to know what's going on. We're going to fly out past waypoint 1, use waypoint 2 to establish on the ILS, and go land at waypoint 3, which is runway 90 at Al Minhad Air Force Base. First I'll select waypoint 2 as my destination. Double click the prep button to edit the destination waypoint parameters. Select the desired heading parameter, we'll type 090, insert. Now we can put the aircraft in desired route mode, our desired tracks appeared on the radar screen, we have to fly down the pipe towards the cross. We'll get in position by flying out on a reciprocal heading. As we're flying out, let's set up our landing waypoint. It's waypoint 3, so we'll prep 03. Select runway heading, edit the left window, 0900 insert. That's everything set up on the INS, we just need to do the radio navigation now. Let's bring up the F10 map, click on the landing field for more information. TACAN 99X, ILS is 110.70 for our selected runway. We can dial those in with our mouse scroll wheel. And for the TACAN. Now let's set up our approach. Autopilot's off and we're looking to fly down the pipe towards the cross. So we come out on the runway heading, put the autopilot on altitude hold. We're at 3000 feet to intercept the glide slope. So waypoint 3 is the destination, put the plane in approach mode. To fly the approach we first need to place the flight path marker into the ILS box. The open top means that we've captured the localizer but not yet captured the glide slope. Dashed line on the HUD indicates the extended runway centre line. Autopilot on and set it to approach hold mode. You need to be on the ILS and have the runway heading and altitude set up in the INS to do this. We're pretty fast so let's deploy air brakes. With the approach hold autopilot we can keep our hands off the stick, we just need to manage our airspeed and with it our angle of attack. We can use the throttle, the air brakes and the gear for this. Stabilise at roughly 300 knots and 3000 feet. Chevron's on the flight path marker for a steady speed. Once we pick up the glide slope, our HUD box will complete at the top and we'll get an extra light on our autopilot indication. Because we came in at 3000 feet, we're already right on the glide slope. 10 miles out we'll use some more air brakes, get the speed down to about 200 knots. The nose starts to pitch up as we come on speed, so let's raise the seat. As we come below 200 knots, we'll retract the air brakes and extend the landing gear. Use the throttle to keep the chevrons inside the AOA bracket. At about 3 to 4 nautical miles, you can begin to see the synthetic runway appear along the middle of the extended centre line. Conditions for seeing this are the same as for using the approach hold autopilot. Radar altitude and feet, autopilot off. Cut the throttle and flare. Try to keep that T-bar on the horizon. It's not easy. Apply your wheel brakes and deploy your braking chute if needed. Turn on nose wheel steering to keep yourself aimed down the runway. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit that subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.